Professor Stella Craig, who serves as the Director General of the Nigeria Energy and Oil Company, NEOC, has dedicated her entire life to combating corruption on behalf of the ordinary citizens of Nigeria. This unwavering commitment to justice takes a devastating turn when her husband and infant child are abducted by a dangerous group. Despite the efforts of the police to apprehend one of the kidnappers, they inexplicably release him upon discovering his familial ties to Senator Dipo. It becomes chillingly clear that Dipo and his superior, General Issa, are the masterminds behind the abduction of Professor Craig's loved ones. In an act of retribution against Professor Craig for her audacious stance against corruption and her willingness to challenge powerful individuals like Dipo and General Issa, they carry out a horrific act by brutally ending the lives of her family members. Moreover, they manipulate the selection of the new Director General of NEOC to further their nefarious agenda. To cover their tracks and maintain their influence, as the police let Dipo's son go free, they embark on a sinister plan to find a man who bears a resemblance to him and falsely implicate him in the kidnappings. Tragically, an innocent man named Damalola is targeted by the police while on his way to church and is unjustly killed. Following his death, Damalola is wrongly branded as a kidnapper, and the police withhold his body from his father, Paul, under the pretext of an ongoing investigation. It is revealed that Paul has a murky history of working alongside General Issa, involving himself in various illicit activities such as assassinations and coup attempts. Paul struck a deal with General Issa that allowed him to break free from a life entangled in criminal activities once he handed over the Black Book, a detailed record of General Issa's illicit endeavors. His departure from the criminal world marked a transformation in Paul's life. He chose the path of peace, leading a tranquil existence with his son while embracing his role as a deacon within the community. Haunted by a deep sense of guilt for his past transgressions, Paul views his son's tragic death as a form of divine retribution. He is prepared to bear the weight of his own sins but refuses to let his son's memory be tarnished with false accusations. It's at this juncture that a journalist named Victoria becomes aware of the case and extends her hand to help Paul seek justice for his son's untimely demise. Initially resistant to Victoria's assistance, Paul's sole desire is to reclaim his son's body, a quest repeatedly thwarted by an unsympathetic police force. However, a fateful altercation with police officers results in Paul's arrest, prompting him to contemplate returning to his former criminal life to clear his son's name. In a desperate bid for justice, Paul resorts to kidnapping the police officers responsible for his son's death and records their confessions, intending to use the evidence to clear his son's reputation. This recorded confession is stolen by Victoria. Yet, a shocking revelation unfolds as it turns out Victoria's editor has ties to General Issa, leading her to destroy the incriminating recording rather than releasing it to the public. In the midst of these unfolding events, Dipo becomes aware that the police were responsible for the death of Paul's son. Understanding the formidable reputation of Paul as one of the most dangerous individuals in the country, Dipo decides to mobilize the entire police force to pursue and capture Paul. To accomplish this, Angelo, a trusted associate of Dipo and General Issa, orchestrates the murder of a police officer and cunningly frames Paul for the crime. Following the destruction of the confession by Victoria's editor, Paul and Victoria join forces. Their collaboration is soon tested when Angela launches a violent assault on Paul's residence. Simultaneously, Paul conceals Victoria in a secure room, raising her suspicion that Paul has been surveilling her activities. While Paul's primary concern is for Victoria's safety and he implores her to cease her investigation, Victoria initiates her own inquiry into her connection with Paul. Paul manages to overpower Angelo, who then discloses that Damalola was killed to shield Dipo's son from exposure. In parallel, Paul confronts General Issa, demanding that both Dipo and his son confess to their crimes and that Damalola's body be released. However, their negotiations falter, as Dipo's admission of guilt threatens General Issa's lucrative oil and gas business. Conversely, Paul remains resolute in his quest to prove his son's innocence. In a desperate move, General Issa enlists his most skilled assassin to eliminate the police officers responsible for Damalola's murder, planning to shift the blame onto Paul in a bid to protect his interests. As a consequence of these events, Paul finds himself elevated to the status of the most sought-after criminal figure. Desperate and on the run, Paul seeks out an old associate, Richard, who has since acquired the alias Big Daddy. 
However, upon their reunion, Paul discovers that Richard was assassinated by General Issa, and the person standing before him is, in fact, Richard's girlfriend, who now operates under the moniker Big Daddy. While Paul is being relentlessly pursued by General Issa's henchmen, an attack is launched against Big Daddy's associates. Paul manages to evade capture and, under the cover of darkness, seeks refuge at the residence of the police commissioner. In this clandestine meeting, he beseeches the commissioner to hear his side of the story, emphasizing his innocence in the deaths of police officers and shedding light on the tragic circumstances surrounding his son's demise. Moreover, Paul implores the commissioner to ensure Victoria's safety. Upon careful scrutiny of Damalola's death and Paul's account of events, the commissioner becomes convinced of Paul's veracity. Meanwhile, Big Daddy takes matters into her own hands by eliminating General Issa's trusted assassin in retaliation for the attack on her associates. Simultaneously, Victoria begins to uncover the intricate ties between her past and Paul's. In a flashback to years prior, the country experienced a surge in drug trafficking, with General Issa assuming control of the illicit drug trade. During that period, he deployed Paul, his loyal enforcer, to eliminate a journalist who had exposed Dipo's smuggling operations. Years ago, the journalist targeted by Paul was none other than Victoria's mother. In a fateful turn of events, Paul carried out the grim task of ending her life. However, despite the circumstances, he could not bring himself to harm Victoria, who was present in the house at the time. Paul made a morally driven decision to take Victoria to a church, where Father Omoto Sho assumed responsibility for her upbringing. When Victoria embarks on a quest for answers, seeking solace from Father Omoto Sho, Paul decides to reveal the unvarnished truth. However, Victoria's reaction is one of profound distress, as she departs from the church, harboring no desire to accept Paul's protection or ever cross paths with him again. General Issa's enforcers launch a violent assault on the church, resulting in the murder of Father Omoto Sho and the abduction of Victoria. Subsequently, General Issa presents Paul with a chilling demand, arrive at an unarmed meeting on a remote farm if he wishes to secure Victoria's release. Concurrently, Big Daddy aligns herself with Paul, driven by her own desire to dismantle General Issa's operations. Facing the formidable might of General Issa's personal army and a corrupt police force under his sway, Paul realizes that the only viable means to topple General Issa is to purloin the Black Book, which holds the key to exposing his criminal empire. Paul's contacts within General Issa's army share crucial information with him, confirming that the Black Book remains stored in the same secure location it occupied during Paul's ownership. To divert the attention of the police, Paul and Big Daddy execute a plan involving a strategically timed explosion. This forces the police to rush to the explosion site instead of safeguarding General Issa's men. While Paul proceeds to General Issa's farm and willingly surrenders, Big Daddy and her gang execute a daring heist, successfully liberating the Black Book from its safe. Big Daddy takes a decisive step by forwarding a video depicting General Issa's men committing acts of violence against Nigerian soldiers to the military authorities. This revelation prompts a swift response, with the military turning against General Issa, causing his loyal men to abandon him. Professor Craig exacts her long-awaited vengeance against Angelo for the murder of her family, and Dipo finds himself in custody, facing charges levied by the commissioner who now possesses undeniable evidence against him. General Issa, too, faces arrest by the military. Paul takes a calculated step by sending the safe containing the Black Book to Victoria. He confides in her, admitting that his earlier reluctance to involve her in the case stemmed from a desire to protect her. Paul implores Victoria to undertake one final task on his behalf, to utilize the Black Book as a means to ensure justice is served. In a poignant turn of events, Paul lays his son to rest and prepares to face the consequences of his past actions. However, after receiving the Black Book, Victoria makes a surprising choice to meet with Paul, hinting at the possibility of forgiveness and reconciliation.